In this section, we're going to look at polynomials with multiplicity. Okay, so let's take a look at these, these graphs right here. Let's examine this one. Do you see what's happening here with this graph? Uh, this equation is rather interesting. x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6th power. This is an x to the 6th, which explains why it's going up, up. Okay, and what are the x-intercepts? Well, we've got one at negative 4, comma, 0, which I see right there, and then 2, comma, 0, 2, comma, 0, 2. These are all the same. They're all at 2, comma, 0. So here's one x-intercept, and here's one x-intercept. Okay, let's go examine this graph. This graph has x to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, x to the 4th power, which is why these ends are going up, up. Okay, the first x-intercept I notice here from the equation is 7, 0, which is right here. And here's 1, 1, 2, 3, oh, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 0, they're all the same. Okay, so the graph only touches the x-axis at two points. Negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, over and over again. Okay, so let's take a look at something called multiplicity. Negative 4 is a 0 twice twice. I'm going to say multiplicity 2. And 2 comma 0, 2 comma 0, 4 times multiplicity 4. A repeat 4 times. Okay, and something interesting happens here. Okay, both of these are not crossing through. They're both brushing. They're both brushing. Take a look over here. 7 comma 0 is an x-intercept one time, so I'm going to say multiplicity once. And it doesn't brush, it crosses. Okay, and here, negative 2, negative 2, multiplicity three times. And this one doesn't brush, it also crosses. Okay, this one's uh, crossing. So there's a way to figure out if your graph needs to brush or it needs to cross. And here's the rules of multiplicity. Okay, if r is a 0 of even multiplicity, an even number of times, okay, even, then it brushes, it brushes the x axis, okay, for example, right here, this is negative 5 comma 0 with multiplicity 6, so therefore that one would brush. How about this x-intercept? 11, 0 has multiplicity 2 times. And since 2 is an even number, it would also brush the x-axis at that x-intercept. Okay, so we're going to have a lot of cool things happening in our graphs today. Uh, if the 0 has odd multiplicity, an odd number of times, then it crosses, it crosses through the x axis. Okay, for example, this one right here, negative 7, 0. After you write the x-intercept, we're going to start always writing multiplicity five times. If that is the x-intercept five times, that's odd, then it's going to cross through the x-axis at that point. How about the next one, 4, 0. Multiplicity there, three times. It's a repeat. So this graph, even though the power is 5 plus 3, 8, it only touches the x-axis at those two points over and over and over again. Since that's odd, 3 is an odd, it's going to cross. Now, how do I remember this? Let me just show you this cute little trick here. If the multiplicity is odd, then it's going to cross. See all those O's? That's how I remember it. Okay, find the zeros roots of this polynomial. So let's go ahead and start our factoring. I'm going to factor out x squared, and then that leaves us with x minus 2. Now, I'm really going to factor this. I'm going to make sure that everybody can clearly see that it's x times x times x minus 2. Okay, so what are the roots, or the zeros, or the x-intercepts? Well, this first one right here tells me 0 comma 0. And that one's also 0, 0. So write down the x-intercept. Starting today, as soon as you write it down, you have to tell me multiplicity. And since it's 2 times, we'll say 2. Okay. Then I have the next x-intercept at 2, 0. But he's only there one time. So his multiplicity is just once. And I have to say 
afterwards, okay, we'll just put colon, what does that mean? If it's an even number of multiplicity, an even number of times is going to brush. And an odd number of times, it's going to cross. Okay, so on this graph right here, I know the graph is going to touch 0, 0, and I know it's going to touch 1, 2, 2, comma 0. Those are the x-intercepts. Okay, uh, so there's some other things we have to state. What's the y-intercept? If I put 0 in for x, that's going to be 0, 0. Of course, if it touches the x-axis of 0, that's also going to be touching the y-axis. How about the end behavior? y equals positive 1x cubed. Okay, so that's what we're going to write down. Now, how are we going to think about the end behavior? We're going to think like x cubed down, up. Of course, there might be some more good stuff in the middle, so I'm just going to draw those ends, down, up. Let's put that over here. Let's draw a down arrow and an up arrow. All right, those are all the clues that you get. Now, don't forget, we have some multiplicity over here. So put your pencil on this arrow. Okay, and I'm approaching 0. Now, what do I do with 0? Let's read the directions here. I need to brush. I need to brush that x-intercept. Don't cross through it. Bounce off of it and then get away. Come back down. Now, I also have to touch 2. Let's go read the directions here. I have to cross. So I'm going to cross through that x-intercept. Should I come back down? There's no more x-intercepts. Oh, but I do need to have my end behavior going up, and that is working. Okay, so we're going to have some graphs where the multiplicity is going to help you either brush or cross through the x-axis the right way. None of the graphs yesterday, I don't know if you noticed, had any multiplicity more than one. So this is the first homework that's going to have that. All right, let's consider this polynomial. What's the degree? Okay, degree means you add up all the x's. So here's two x's. There's two x's. I'm up to four. That's another 2x's. That's 6 plus 3 more makes 9. So what's the degree? You would say a ninth degree polynomial, and that's how you write it, ninth degree. Okay. Now, end behavior, you say y equals, then you look at the leading coefficient, which, which is 1. And if I were to multiply that out, I would get x to the ninth. So degree and end behavior are going to be very much related. You just have to know how to write it. Okay, list the zeros and their multiplicity. Okay, when you have an x out here, that's going to make 0, 0. Okay, and the multiplicity there, multiplicity two times. This one right here, hmm, I'm having, let's see, maybe I should solve it by hand x squared plus 1 equals 0. And then if I move it over, that's x squared equals negative 1. But I'm having a hard time finding it because I cannot square root a negative. Okay, that does not factor. It does not square root. This one does not give us any x-intercepts. Okay, you know what this looks like? This looks like a parabola shifted one unit up. Okay, of course, I can see there's no x-intercepts. So let's just write down some notes here, because this one is usually pretty tricky for people. This factor right here, that factor right there, okay, cannot factor. It cannot factor, okay, so um, there's no x-intercepts from him. Okay, but he does count in the degree. So we are going to count him as having two x's, like a power of two more x's, but there's no x-intercepts that he contributes. Okay, so let's just skip over that one. This one right here, that's 3 comma 0. And the multiplicity there is 2. This last factor has a single x, which is negative 2 comma 0. And the multiplicity there is 3. If you're not sure what to do, it, you can go ahead and really like spread this out. x times x times x squared plus 1. See how that part doesn't factor? But then this is x minus 3, x minus 3, x plus 2, x plus 2, x plus 2. So maybe if we write out all the factors, you can clearly see how negative 2, 0, negative 2, 0, negative 2, 0. 
three zero three zero. Nothing from him. Okay, but they still count as x's. All right, let's go ahead and write what this means. After we say the multiplicity is two, is it going to brush or cross? That's going to brush. What's going to happen at three zero? That's going to brush. And negative two is going to, since it's odd, cross. So I'm going to get my x-axis all set up here, 0, 0, uh, 3, 0, 3, 0, and negative 2, 0. Okay, and I know when I get there if I'm going to brush or cross. All right, let's keep going. State the y-intercept. Let's put 0 for x. Well, this is going to be real easy because I'm going to put 0 here. 0 times 0 times, times 1 times negative 3 times whatever. It's going to be 0. Okay, and graph the polynomial. Um, the only thing I didn't draw here was the end behavior. For an odd, okay, any odd is going to be going down and then up. Okay, now let's make sure we look at the directions. Okay, my pencil starts down here. I'm approaching negative 2. What am I supposed to do at negative 2? The directions say cross it. Okay, so cross through that x-intercept. Okay, now I'm going to approach 0. 0 says I'm supposed to brush. Okay, so brush at the origin. Go back up. Should I cross at 1 or 2? No. No x-intercepts there. I'm approaching 3. Approaching 3. 3 says you're supposed to brush, which kind of makes sense. If I brush 3, my end behavior is to go up, up, up right there. Okay, a polynomial of degree 9 would have at most eight turning points. I only see four, but that's because there's a couple more from this guy. There might be some curves. There might not be. Okay, but it could have at most eight turning points. All right, the last thing we're going to do here is write down some equations of polynomials. Okay, write the equation of the polynomial. So we did this uh, yesterday. Remember, where's my red pen? Okay, polynomial. Polynomial, I write this with red because this is the thing that everybody forgets by the time we take the test. Polynomial means many terms. And how do you find so many terms? What do you got to do? You got to multiply it out. Okay, don't forget to make your many terms. Okay, write the equation. So I'm going to start off with f of x. Okay, the degree is 3. So that means I need to have 1 two, three sets of parentheses. The zeros are negative three, two, and five. Okay, so x plus three. We're going to have x minus two and x minus five. Okay, and the leading coefficient is negative three. So the a number out here is going to be negative three. Okay, that's great setup. That's only a fraction of the, the points. Now you have to multiply it out. There's really no easy way to do this. You have to pick two factors and start multiplying. So maybe I will do, mm, uh, maybe I'll do the first two, right? Doesn't matter. F of x equals, I'm going to save the negative 3 for the very last thing that I do. I'm going to multiply these two together. I'm going to save x minus 5 for just a second. First, x squared. Outers and inners all at the same time. Let's get fast here. Plus x minus 6. Okay. Now it's time to go ahead and multiply this one out. I have to distribute x squared to both of those things. So they're both going to get x squared. That's going to be x cubed minus 5x squared. Okay, done with that one. I'm going to switch colors here so you can see what I'm doing step by step. Now I'm going to distribute the positive x to those two things. Plus x squared minus 5x. Now I'm going to switch again because now I'm going to distribute the negative 6. Minus 6x plus 30. Close up the parentheses. Uh, can I add any like terms? Yes, there's a couple sets of like terms here. So negative 3, hang on, I'm almost ready to distribute you in, but not yet. I want to make this as small as possible, and then negative 3 will go in at the very end. x cubed plus, oh, minus, minus, <laughs> minus 4x squared minus 11x plus, what does that say? That should say 30. 
30. Okay, and now we'll distribute the negative 3. So f of x equals negative 3x cubed plus 12x squared plus 33x minus 90. Okay, polynomial. That's kind of a review from yesterday. Okay, how else could it look? Maybe it could look something like this. Oh, you know what we should do for fun? Let's go ahead and graph this. What would the graph look like? I know that it's negative x cubed. So the ends are going to go like this. The x-intercepts might be easy to look away up here. Negative 3. It's going to touch at positive 2. It's going to touch at positive 5. Are any of these multiplicity more than 1? No, they're all one. So odd, odd, odd is going to cross, cross, cross. How about a y-intercept? That might be easy to look at your final polynomial, negative 90. Okay, cross, cross, cross. Here we go. Cross, cross, cross. Nice. So you can see where this chapter is going. We're going to write polynomials, or you're going to factor out polynomials, and we're going to draw graphs with either crossing or brushing. Write the equation of the polynomial degree 4, okay? So f of x equals, I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4 sets of parentheses set up here. Negative 1 is x plus 1. Positive 2 is x minus 2. Negative 2 is a 0. Oh, look at this, multiplicity 2. That means it's there two times, twice. Twice. So I have to say x plus 2 and again x plus 2. That's perfect because I needed degree 4. I'm glad that one was two times. And the leading coefficient is 2. Okay, that's great setup, but that's not a polynomial. So we're going to have to multiply this out. Of all the factors to multiply, I have to do, let's see, let's do these two together. That's going to be really nice. Uh, f of x equals 2. So let's multiply these two middle ones together, because that's going to make a difference of squares, x squared minus 4. And then I'm going to multiply this one and this one together to make the other quadratic. So first, <laughs> x squared, outers and inners, that's plus 2x, plus 1x is plus 3x and multiplying last is plus 2. So I've got x to the fourth. I chose these two to make a difference of squares and these two to make the other quadratic. Now we're only halfway done. Now we're going to have to distribute x squared to all three of those things. So let's uh, use some color coding here. I'm going to distribute x squared one, two, three times. That's x to the fourth plus 3x cubed plus 2x squared. Okay, now I'm going to distribute the negative 4 to 1, 2, 3 things. Negative 4x squared minus 12x minus 8. Okay, let's go ahead and add any like terms that we can. I guess just these two. I'm going to save that two for the very, very last step. Once I combine the like terms, make it smaller. x to the fourth plus 3x cubed minus 2x squared minus 12x minus 8. And now I will distribute in the two. f of x equals 2x to the fourth plus 6x cubed, minus 4x squared, minus 24x, minus 16. Uh, draw a graph of the polynomial. Okay, I'm going to have to squeeze my graph over here to the left. That includes the zeros on the y-intercept. Okay, so the zeros are negative 1, negative 1, positive 2, and negative 2, 2 times, 
negative 2, negative 2, 2 times. The y-intercept, I'm going to look at my final answer here, negative 16. Okay, and how about the ends for 2x to the 4th? The ends are going to go up, up. Okay, let's draw the graph. So I'm approaching negative 2. Negative 2 had multiplicity twice. That's even. When it's even, it needs to brush. Okay, now I'm approaching negative 1. Negative 1 is just one time. Once is odd. Odd is going to cross. Ooh, I'm going to go grab this y-intercept. Okay, I'm approaching 2. I really hope it crosses. 2 is one time. That's odd, odd. Oh, good. Odd does cross and behavior. There's the polynomial graph. All right, do we got any more? Ah, we got one more. Analyze the graph doing all the steps. So this is kind of where we're headed, um, factoring them out, getting all the x-intercepts. So first, let's determine the end behavior. End behavior is y equals 4x cubed. Finding the zeros in the multiplicity, we are going to have to factor. So maybe what I'll do first is see, can I take out a monomial? They're all even, so maybe I'll take out a 2 just to make our life a little easier. And that gives us 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 5. Okay, we still have to factor. I'm noticing four terms. What kind of factoring can we do with four terms? How about factor by grouping? Now don't go putting parentheses. If you need to do stuff, then you need to underline. Okay, at this point, I really want you to pay attention to how I write this, because there's already a 2 out in front. So let's use some big brackets. I'll do all the factor by grouping in these brackets. The rest of the polynomial stuff still needs to be there. Okay, do not make it disappear and have it reappear later. That doesn't make sense. I'm going to factor out x squared. That leaves us with 2x plus 5. Okay, here they both have a negative. If I take their negative away, that would be nice. So take out negative 1, leaving us with 2x plus 5. Okay, now this is the very final step here. So we don't need the brackets anymore. The 2's out in front. And when you factor, you get two sets of parentheses. One of them is the duplicates, 2x plus 5. And the other one are the things you factored out, x squared minus 1. Okay, does that look nicely factored? Oh, it's not done, you say. All right, so let's go ahead and write the, the um, completely factored version. So we have 2x plus 5, x plus 1, x minus 1. Okay, so 2 is not an x. That doesn't give us a 0. The first x-intercept would be negative 5 halves comma 0, multiplicity once. The next one is negative 1 comma 0, multiplicity once. We've got positive 1 comma 0, multiplicity once. That's not multiplicity there, that's just a difference of squares which gives us two different answers. Okay, if the multiplicity is 1, 1, 1, odd, 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 so you need to cross, cross, cross. The y-intercept is 0 comma up here, negative 10. Draw the graph. Okay, I will draw the graph. Let's get positive 1 and negative 1 on here. How about negative 5 has? That's negative 2.5, so it's going to be over here. The y-intercept is negative 10. And how about the end behavior? What does a positive odd look like? x to the third, it goes down and up. Okay, let's make sure we look at the directions here. Multiplicity is 1, 1, 1. Cross, cross, cross. Okay, let's do it. Cross, cross, y-intercept, cross, looking good. Okay, domain and range. Domain is the set of x values. Going left and right, it's all reals. How about the range, the smallest y value? Is it negative 10? No, the smallest y value is negative infinity. And then the largest y value, positive infinity. Okay? All right. Have a great day.